There's a big difference between being artful with your own stuff, in which it becomes fun for you, and stepping it to another level, which is working with true creativity through a method that enables what you do to become truly fun for others. Now here's the difference. When you have some core truth that you want to speak, that you want to offer, some gesture you want to give to people that fundamentally fixes things in the world, small or large, you owe it to that concept to get out of the way of that concept and not feel like you're taking this do you know taking this step to do something in order to enjoy it but in fact that thing is so valuable and potentially helpful to people and the universe that you can find a way to package and disseminate that thing in such a way that it really becomes compelling for other people because when you do it right, it resonates with them and then they can actually see why they want and need what you have to offer. That takes work. That takes understanding of the creative principles, a method, a strategy, the ways to compose something, the mindset it takes to be able to move forward, the ways to actually manipulate the universe of whatever it is that you're offering, you know, or the medium that you're offering it in. In this case, it's, it's, it's video. So, you know, there's this camera universe, right? You want to understand these things in order to be able to say what you truly mean in a way that brings that message really, really importantly, value wise, right? Now, you and I both know that there are people out there who choose to do some kind of theater show, and it's a navel-gazing, solipsistic, masturbatory, bullshit gesture that they like. And they are doing it for them. And they are cloaking it in the idea of, I'm doing it for, you know, people, but actually they're doing it for them. That stuff sucks. It sucks for one reason above everything else. They're not doing it for the right reasons. They're actually wasting people's time because they are doing it for their own enjoyment. But if they would instead hold themselves to a higher standard and make something that actually means something, they will understand that the people that they're doing it for are anyone but them, and they will not necessarily even be enjoying what it is that they're doing the way they thought they should because they are thinking and working and planning and they have practiced and strategized and rehearsed in order to be able to bring that so that other people can see an effortless, thoughtful, well-articulated expression of an idea. That is the difference. Now, it doesn't have to be talking here. It doesn't have to be there. It can be any artistic gesture, anything at all. It can be a well-done TED Talk, which, by the way, there's a big difference between TED and TEDx. TEDx, practically anybody can get invited to. A TED Talk is, you know, on a higher level, and they, you know, they're not fucking around when you... When you bring that stuff, you know, that's, you know, that's people who have been curated and the best of the best are there. But, you know, just because your friend did a TED talk, TEDx talk, let's not, let, let's not confuse the two. So it can be, you know, it can be something like that, just a public speaking gig, or it can be a staged presentation or a video presentation or on film or 
a piece of music, any kind of piece of music, whether it be rock and roll, you know, speed metal, or uh, classical music, right? Or it can be some kind of art installation, a painting, a sculpture, mixed media, whatever type of situation. A, you know, poetry, spoken word, a poetry slam, anything like that. These are all, you know, performance art, circus, juggling, clowning, stand-up comedy. When it's done well, it is not about the person. It is about the message. And that's where we venture from the idea of just an amateur playing with some kind of way of making it fun and venture into the idea of something that is intelligently strategized, investigated, and mentored by someone you know, like me. I happen to be an expert mentor and coach in the genre of extracting performable, inner core, truthful, artistic messages. So, you follow some method and you work with someone and then you are devoted to that message and you understand something far bigger, more profound, greater, and you bring that to people so that they can enjoy it. And you do all of the work that it takes in order to be able to do that right. Because when you do that, you can actually influence, help, motivate, and inspire people. Now, what's such a big deal about um, doing this work, you know, with or without a mentor? People pay me a good deal of money to help them do this. Why would someone do that? Well, it's because when you embrace the idea that it's not just fun and actually the message is more serious, let's say you're doing this stuff for a business purpose. Your business purpose can allow you to actually make money from this for a living. And if you do it well, you can help lots of people with this thing that you believe in. You can either do it just like everybody else, or you can actually do it in a unique way that gains far more traction. Because the people who are doing it just like everybody else, that stuff sucks. It's generic crap. And they will never have something special. They'll always just be getting by. The ones that do it special are the ones that have extracted themselves from that generic herd and have made something unique. And that stuff is the stuff that I can actually do the most damage in the world, you know, in a healthy way. So when you hire somebody, you are paying them money to be able to help you extract that stuff through method, through strategy, through investigation, through practice, through doing what they do. What's such a big deal about that? You can't do it on your own. The reason you can't do it on your own is not that you can't. It's that you're inside of it. You are inside of what you are seeing and what you are feeling and the history of that. And when you understand that being inside of that prevents you from being able to objectively see the thing for what it actually is, you are only ever subjective when examining the stuff. And what is required is an invested outside eye that is objective and can see what you can never see because you are inside of it. That's why people hire people like me. Now that's pay money pay, right? That's the amount of, you know, that's, that's, that's a quantifiable payment. But the fact is that you also, one way or another, you will pay. You will pay with the sheer length of time that a, an amateur learning curve takes if you don't have a teacher or a mentor or a coach, you'll just be making all the same mistakes over and over again that everybody else has done before you. And everyone will continue to do long after you've learned that stuff. And it may take you 
it may take you weeks, but most likely it will take you stretches of months and potentially years of doing the stuff wrong with your amateur inability to actually parse the information. And that is how you will pay a long, long, slow learning curve. You might want to ask yourself what that's worth to shorten that learning curve to just a few weeks or months. If it's a business, it's worth many, many tens and potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's the fact. So if you don't spend a certain amount of money, you will waste a very large amount of money. That's what I mean by pay. And the other thing is if you don't actually embrace using somebody else's objective outside eye, you may never actually get to a point where you can see the thing clearly and you may simply pay by having the work continually suffer as mediocre, less than stellar, because you don't know the ways to sort through the method that you don't know is there to help you sort through stuff. <laughs> That's your choice. I refer to it as the price of education. The price of education will hit you one way or another. Your ignorance and stubbornness, your stinginess and the length of the learning curve, or just quantifiable expense of investing the money that will solve those problems in another way. One way or another, you have the price of education and you will pay. That's not a threat. That's the truth. It's just empirical, flat, straightforward. These are the breakdown of a few simple understandings of what it means when you choose to go from thinking that artful delivery is fun and you step into the powerful core investigation of some truth that can really benefit others so that you make it fun for others to be able to resonate with what you're saying and potentially help solve their lives. Help solve whatever large and small issues in their lives. I hope this is clear. Amateur is fun for you. Serious, quote-unquote, professional is about making it fun for others. The reason you invest in a mentor is because they can see objectively what you can only see subjectively. The reason you look at the concept of payment is because you will be paying one way or another with a price of education no matter what it is. When you want to shorten the learning curve and bring about the, the presentational badassery that sets you apart from the regular lackluster generic herd, you actually pony up with money that you invest in a mentor to be able to bring you there quickly, clearly, and fast. Quickly, <laughs> quickly and fast, yeah. Quickly, clearly, and creatively. That's the impact. I hope I made this clear. You know where to find me, right here. Reach out, happy to hear your thoughts. See ya.